What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Since I'm about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today, Jeepers Creepers Reborn. I know I said I would not have another video that was a solo video until the review, but that all changed because of the fact that several of you DM'd me the footage that has been going around, that has been showing a lot of details about the movie. And what I'm going to do is just say, of course, yes, but not even potential. Things that are spoilery to some of you are going to be discussed in this video. So if you don't want to have anything spoiled, uh, not even certain things related to a costume a character is going to wear, then you shouldn't be watching this video. But we're going to go over what this footage had to show, my thoughts on that, and I'll talk about some of the reactions again that I've just been seeing and share my thoughts on that too. Now, as it pertains to this footage, I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to actually go out and watch the footage before you see the movie tomorrow or anytime during this three-day release that starts tomorrow. So, with the footage, we get to see the creeper crawl out of what is again supposed to be Taggart's barn even though I know some of you have pointed out it looks like a brick house and it not even that it looks like an abolished I, well I guess that is better a an a, a diminished or abolished brick house like it's been destroyed completely it doesn't look like a farm or farm house or anything or barn in any way so whatever he's crawling out of and clearly with the post puncher there that's supposed to be in relation to Taggart so we see that we get to see the creeper eating worms and it looks decent the quality of course doesn't doesn't complement it all that great uh but it does look decent as far as like seeing him crawl out and then getting to see how he's going to get his attire that he wears for a bulk of the movie he walks over to a scarecrow and he steals the attire that's on the scarecrow which explains now why he looks like that what I do also think was interesting from this footage is how we see a clip of a character who I think was Gabriel Freilich's character of Sam, who is friends with Chase and Lane. We see them in the woods getting distracted by something. And then I guess they don't know that the creeper is behind them and the creeper and this parasitic like thing that many of us think is in control or some of you think is in control of the overall creature itself devours its entire face or his entire face that being sam's face when he turns around so again in a lot of ways i do like that aspect of that from that footage that i saw because it gives another insight or gives another layer to the idea that maybe the thing on the back of the creeper's head is what is ultimately in control but i was also told some other spoilery stuff that related to witches and again i'll have all of my thoughts on this movie in the review tomorrow and i'm just going to tell you in this video it's going to be spoiler filled obviously i'm going to label it in the title as well of the video it's going to be spoiler filled because i know several of you while you might not have your tickets now you're planning on seeing it tomorrow and you will want to have something to laugh at if it ends up being a negative review from me by the time you come out of the theater and i'll probably have it up around 10 o'clock or something that same night but yeah, the footage that was shown showed him coming out of the barn, showed him devouring Sam's face. There was other stuff out there of like uh, Lane dressing up as Harley Quinn, chasing her, just playing around with costumes. Um, I saw other shots of Jaru Benjamin as the creeper in some clips of the footage. One shot didn't look too bad, but then another shot, his face looked completely unlike anything we've seen the creeper look like in the past. So it's like, what is this? Why is he, why is his look altering so much? Of course, again, you'll get complete context when the movie releases tomorrow, when we see it in theaters. Now, I know also some of you aren't even bothering wasting your time going to see it. Some of you have actually found a stream online and you've watched it that way. If you want to watch it that way and don't care if it's in English or not, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm going to watch it in theaters tomorrow and i'll have my review up on the channel again later that same night but just to talk about some of the reactions some of the reactions that have been out there again i'm not seeing a lot of majority of majority of positivity regarding this movie and some people i know have already chimed in i've gotten some dms already talking about how i'm dogging on the movie well i will say this if you if you think that i'm dogging on the movie Keep in mind that a lot of us were very excited for this movie, and I can say that maybe some of us feel feel a little bit uh, silly for being so excited after after what happened with three. We were excited because it seemed like there was that breath of fresh air. You had Victor Salva gone, but then, you know, doing some digging into who's making this movie and finding out they don't really have the best resume when it comes to 
uh, a history of quality filmmaking and then also seeing that oh screen media is involved again that's a sign that you're not going to get much marketing you had lackluster marketing altogether anyway you had the lawsuit arise uh finding out that the people involved in it might not be delivering the best performances if you're someone who went out of your way to look up look up what they were doing in other projects so there were plenty of things that started to slowly but surely dwindle any excitement that me and a lot of others had because nothing was pointing towards this movie being good the reviews coming out are not good they are some aspects of the reviews that are that are giving um praise to the meta aspect giving praise to what jaru benjamin has done as the creeper some people are knocking what he's done as the creeper i've seen comments going as far as to say they're treating the creeper like batman it doesn't come off well it comes off very comical i've seen people mention there's no suspense no atmosphere no real feeling of danger with this it's mostly just a compilation or collection i guess of bad scenes bad filmmaking that might ultimately be a a kick for you because it's so stupid it's funny you find humor in how bad it is like how a lot of people found humor in how bad jeepers creepers 3 was so they ultimately had a good time watching it so this has nothing to do with just necessarily wanting the movie to fail the movie going out of its way to have so many red flags is something that i was taking into consideration and it's not something that i think should be ignored when you have so many red flags that's not something to say oh yeah this movie is going to be a masterpiece f that <laughs> there were far too many red flags if the movie ends up being good i'm going to tell you it's good if it ends up being trash i'm going to tell you it was trash again these reviews that are coming out these are from people who've already seen it in other countries they are not giving too much praise to this movie and i know a lot of you are not surprised by it this is not a movie that many of us wanted to fail it's a movie that basically set itself up to fail and also someone involved with the production took time out of their day to make comments about other movies when they clearly haven't checked their own according to these reviews but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video